Uh oh. Uh oh. Not good. Not good. Not good. It's actually not that far away in team value. I thought it was a lot further, but the uh, journeyman skinks. But it's, oh god, claw mighty blow. All right, this can be a loss here. This could definitely be a loss. Um, seven two four, so not the best record, but claw mighty blow is just horrible, isn't it? You know, that means that he's probably just gonna win. Uh, <laughs> just right there, right there, that that piece alone is probably just going to win him the game. Uh, you know, maybe not. Maybe not, but... Um, don't have enough for... Uh, well, I guess I could have a babe. Can't, don't have anything enough for anything relevant, though. Unfortunately. And... Um, yeah, there you go. It's, it's not bad, is it? I got a couple of mighty blows, so hopefully... Hopefully can bang on him. Fingers crossed, win the toss. I guess I've got to win the, got a receiver for win the toss and try to hurt, hurt his dwarfs. But I really do like kicking as as lizard men. I really do. But against claw mighty blow, you can't, you can't receive, can you? Yeah, you can't kick. Can't kick against claw mighty blow. It's just suicide. Have to kick. Fuck. Have to save the sexy saurus in the middle. And the sexy skinks in the middle. Just hope. Hope he's unlucky. Maybe I should have put the crocs on the line. But I don't want the crocs clawed, do I? You get clawed anyway if he wants. At least now he's got to put more effort to claw him. Ah, shit. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully he's got a... Yeah, he'll foul and get sent off for a stun. You've got to think about it, though. You've got to think about it, Joey. Because he has got low strength, hasn't he? So if you force him to commit a lot to the line, that's good. Yeah, his bulls are just overcosted black orcs this game, but that's fine. Block black orcs are still pretty good. Quite want, I want him to foul, don't I, really? I want him to foul. Should have been the claw. It's silly of him, I think, going for this blitz. I think he should have either blitzed the crocs or a defenseless Saurus with his claw. But he's being a bit greedy. If he gets the ball down here, of course, he gets hit back and doesn't get a knockdown. So I think he's he's, well, he's getting hit by Mighty Blow, whatever happens. I think he played that badly, blitzing with him. He's exposed. I 
don't want to block him though, do I, with a loner? So I think the following isn't isn't that bad. Come on, get sent off for a stun. Hmm. I guess I could bring the um Crocs in and then three dice in. That's that's worth it, isn't it? Screen the, screen the good man. Oh, baby. Oh, that was pretty lucky. Kaz would have been nice, but still. Taking out his guard, at least for the half, is very good, isn't it? Not a guard, the guard. So... Yeah, basing people. But, I mean, he, he hasn't got guard. Well, he only had one guard, did he? Basing people does suck, but I'm strength four and he's strength three, isn't it? So... Unless he's willing to use his his balls as black orcs. If, the, if if there's one team that can base its lizards, isn't it? But yes, it is almost always done. That's true. Um, am I a fan of the kick skill? Uh, no, I'm not a fan of the kick skill. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I mean, he did. He did. This is the thing. If he'd blocked on the LOS with his claw, he, he, I couldn't have easily blitzed him. Um, so he let me easily blitz him, and then yeah, I gave away the block. But, I mean, that wasn't a mighty blow block if he gave it. And yeah, it could have been a three dice if I'd activated the crocs, couldn't it? So he deserved he deserved his claw guy stun definitely. Um, I'm not a fan of the kick skill, no, our yeti. Though it becomes a lot better in legendary edition when it actually works properly. Um, but I still I'm still not really a fan. It is a skill I would like on a team eventually. But I never want to take it before important stuff. That's the thing. It's it's only opportunity cost that that delays me getting it, basically. Like on all of my elf teams. I don't think I've taken kick once on any of my elf teams. On Cyanide, Blood Bowl 2. I don't think I've ever taken kick on, on my elf teams. But... Wow, unnecessary GFI. Oh no, so we can get a further block if he does it. Fair enough. That was very greedy though, wasn't it? When you're on a 75% knockdown, I think making the GFI to get another another hit on him is uh, is very greedy. Only exposed him because for the three dice and had to move him first for the three dice. So I think I was a touch unlucky there, to be honest. But there you go. To have him exposed, and I guess he'll foul him again. Because he's got a dirty player and a skink, so he'll he'll definitely go for the foul, won't he? But the dirty player, oh, wow, maybe the ball carrier might be able to get blitzed. Wow, he's terrible. 
That's awful. He deserves to lose now anyway. Even even if even if he makes a cast here, he deserves to lose. Hundred percent deserve to lose for that. That is terrible. That is absolutely fucking terrible. Wow. Wow. That's so bad. Hundred percent deserves to lose. Can't believe he made that play. The only bad thing is I'm, I can't hit the ball carrier with mighty blow, but um, that's the only bad thing. Just a free hit on the ball. I don't even need the block to set it up, do I? He goes there, and then he goes one, two, three, four, five. I don't even need to make that other block first. Just need to the side step out of the way. One, two, three, four, five. That's fucking awful. Yeah, it's a GFI though. One, two, three, four, five, six. It'll be GFI. Now I don't want to risk the GFI when I can hit with block anyway. Do I give up the hit without block? I don't really want to. Fucking terrible, isn't it? Oh shit, if I'd done it with my evil though would have knocked him out. Oh, I should have moved this guy in. So that I can uh, base the guy. Ah, didn't even get him. Fuck. Fuck, now I'm giving up the block that I didn't need to. Pretty dumb. Maybe I should have re-rolled that, eh? Do I do all that could do all this? Don't have to. But could. What's that? Two dodges with tackle. That's only one dodge with tackle. Might as well do this, I think. Giving up the block though. Now he's definitely getting hit by a bull sentinel, isn't he? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I just powered anyway. Yeah, maybe I should have re-rolled that block. Right, yeah, that was a great result. No AB break. Both still on the pitch. He's down his guard.
Yeah, no chance for a stupid foul. Yeah, that's true. But I don't think well, he shouldn't be able. He shouldn't have been able to make a foul with a dirty player this turn. And fouling the the edge four would have been a good foul, wouldn't it? So I'm actually happy he made the knockdown with him. I mean, he could have run the run the bull round, got the knockdown with a bull, and then fouled with the uh, fouled with the fucking thing, couldn't he? There you go, I gave up blocks, got cast. Seems good. To have taken two cast souls by turn three is a bit of a fucking joke, isn't it? Just fucking loudly, and I gave that block up for no reason. That was that was bad play by by yours truly. Wow, he's going for a four plus dodge. What a cunt! <laughs> oh my god, he's re-rolling it. What a mad bastard! Oh well, that was good. Holy shit. Four Alter. Right. <laughs> Kemri tier player. I want to uh, surf his surf his hobgoblin now, don't I? Um Which means Well moving him here first. And then blocking him. Fucking top tier Surfingtons there, get fucked, you little cunt. Right, now the only question is whether to hit the uh, claw guy or the bull in it. I guess I've got to, even the marking the bull though gives away a fucking hit, doesn't it? Maybe I'll go there and then block him and follow. Block him away, don't follow. I don't even need to put him there. You can just block him and then not follow, but then it means he's going to get knocked down next turn. Well, I just leave him there, right, over the, over this guy. He's a 4 plus dodge away from getting the ball. Oh no, he's stunned, so I can put the ball there. So actually here is pretty good, isn't it? That stun, actually pretty amazing for protecting the ball. I gotta do it, even though he might bonehead. <sighs> three cars by uh, turn three now, no doubt. Yep, knew it. I was thinking about conceding then, because I thought, I wonder if I concede, the cars won't happen, you know? I fucking knew it'd get cars. I knew it. That's why I used the reroll on it. I knew it'd be a fucking... Cars, what the fuck, man? What the fuck? 
No need for people to be this lucky, is there? Like, holy shit. No fucking need for it. I knew this game would be like this as well. Great, great, great. So happy. Oh, fun times, eh? Turn four, by the way. This is turn four. In case you, in case you're fucking wondering, this is fucking turn four of a match. The fuck, like the fuck, can you even do? Blitz him, potato, and then get cover through, maybe. They can sideline it with ease, but they can't even get to a fucking sideline. Go there, blitz him out. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah, it's great. I've just got to power him, haven't I? him there. I mean, I'm all in now, obviously. I'm all in. Can't give up another mighty blow hit for no reason. So I just gotta lie down. I don't even know what happened in Charlottesville. Am I ignorant? American. Yeah, obviously Targaryen is better than that, yeah. <laughs> Still gonna lose though, aren't I? There's no there's no way I'm not losing. Unfortunately. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, so can't can't be safe from him. 
to have a guy there, I guess. But then that's relying on on two dodges. So I probably can't stall. Need my reroll for the GFIs or potentially the dodges. So just do it first, don't make it blocks. But I'm gonna use my Apo as well, so it's four Kaz. Four Kaz I took in the first three turns. <laughs> Get banged on, even though you're still gonna fucking win. VIP, super VIP horror lenses. <laughs> yep. I mean, fuck this guy. How has he got the fucking... How has he got the fucking nerve to complain about... About my team when this has fucking happened? And I've got a fucking Bloodweiser, babe. F oh, I, I didn't check which one it was. Got 28 now. You can be my wingman anytime. You can be mine. That's that number's false, isn't it? Surely. But um thank you for the host, Andy Davo. You can be my wingman anytime. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> really? It always inflates it, doesn't it? It's never, it's, n well, I've always hosted people. Whenever I host people, it says more than, uh, more than the amount that it was. Just quietly. Just quietly. <laughs> it did look good, yeah. <laughs> Good, good, good choice to host me here anyway, Andy Devo. Yeah, exactly. Everyone can see. Yeah, this guy, in four turns, made four cars, and then, um, and then thought of the thought it'd be a great idea to mourn about my luck. Can some people, eh? Some fucking people, gives up, gives up a two dice fucking block. For no reason. Just no reason completely exposes the fucking ball to a two dice. But I didn't need to make any moves. It was just a free two dice on the ball. Free. Didn't even need a push or nothing. Just a free two dice on the ball. Pow him. Pick up the ball. And then score on his drive. And he's like, oh, edgy, edgy four skinks so are dumb. Wow. So I was like, so was your play. Which is, uh, which is absolutely fair, isn't it? Yeah, but he, the thing is, Oriolensis, he could have still... No, he couldn't have done it. Could he? he couldn't have got the assistance still. Uh, yeah. But it would have still been harder. I would have had to roll dice if he just moved his uh, dirty player to the other square. If he hadn't moved his... If he hadn't moved his dirty player... No, I didn't need to roll dice. No. He could have moved his dirty player to a different square, though. And then I would have had to have rolled dice. At least. At least a 2D block. But, um... Yeah, Lorna King Fowler has given up two DP on block. <laughs> on no block walker, yeah, seventy five is a knockdown. I don't understand anybody up, do I? Hmm. Is he a scoring threat? Yeah, he is. 
If I block him, he'll just fucking cars me with this cunt. So I've just got to let him. Back line it, see what happens. What a fucking dumb game. <laughs> fucking complain about my luck. <laughs> oh, shit. Unbelievable. He probably thinks he's unlucky that he didn't make a cast with his fouls as well, even though he didn't get sent off. But then, to be fair, last game, the guy looked like he he was acting like that, but he wasn't, uh, he actually wasn't, he was like, nah, to be fair, you played really well, I'm just a bit sad. And that, that was fair enough, but you can't, you can't get that, can you, from a typed line, so maybe this guy isn't really a complete cunt. He might be alright, mightn't he? You just don't know. Yeah, when he moved that guy there, I thought he was going to foul for sure. Yeah, confirmation buys the happening. Yeah, that's true. It's funny, isn't it? It is funny, but it's hard, though. It is a hard... I think that's why it's such a hard game for beginners, isn't it? Because you're just going to think, what a load of shit this is. I'm so unlucky. Instead of, like, thinking, fuck, I should probably get better at this. Right. So he literally can't blitz him now. Oh, this one's getting mighty blowed though. That's not worth it, is it? Do I even base this guy? Maybe I'll blitz this one. I don't want to get a skink mighty blowed. <laughs> uh, I guess I could blitz this, this hob. And then base him. He's got a reroll though, so the touchdown isn't even. I'd have to double base. I'd have to double base this one. And blitz him. That's two double GFIs though to assist. Or assist with a, with a sidestep, but then the sidestep gets blitzed by him. Or the edge four gets blitzed by him. It's not easy, is it? <laughs> Thank you, VIP Pedro Jack. Yeah. Alright, let's fucking go a bit crazy then. Well, yes, it's only level two skin, but it's he's he's like a seventh of my players. <laughs> That's the thing, isn't it? Three. Oh god, have I done it wrong? Should I put, put him there? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You can't score. Okay. That's the thing. He's he's fucking sixteen percent of my players, <laughs> or fourteen percent, or whatever. That's the thing. Yeah, man, gotta protect the soul. Oh, do you know what? I probably should have dodged him out. I shouldn't have to base the ball. Or base the hob. Oh, no, I shouldn't have, because if he made it, he'd get clawed. He'd get claw mighty blowed. Yeah. 
If he doesn't score here, yeah, Ducky, so well, semi reliably, yeah. It's very scary still, won't it? I got lucky that he, he made that GFI and failed it and then failed the pickup. I got very lucky with his ball handling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Pedro, absolutely ridiculous. Missed next game, Crocs. Three badly hurt Saurus. Used my app on one of them. Yeah, he can score here. It's not, it's not that hard to score here, is it? At least I made him blitz the worst player. Well, I didn't even make him. He could have blitzed this one. Really. I figured he'd... With this one being near the centre, that's what he'd go for. But he could have just come down with this one, couldn't he? One, two, three, four. I'd have a GFI, though, so... Fucking hell. It's exciting. Even though nothing's happening. He failed the show hands pick up again. Glorious. <laughs> he's been he's been pretty unlucky to be fair. He won in thirty sixth with a GFI. <laughs> then he won in nine. And then he won in nine again. So that was um somewhat unlucky, wasn't it? Ah, fuck off, Dougie. <laughs> Mighty blow on his uh Mighty blow on his thing now. Or not. I don't want to double GF and make a block. Good. Comes back on a 3 plus. He comes back. Right, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight players isn't that bad, I guess. Eight players not that bad. And he's got ten. So there's still a chance of getting lucky on the LOS, isn't there? Still got the three mighty blow blocks. No, two mighty blow blocks. And yeah, the... The Edge Force King, with being one in love, the Edge Force King might just uh, might just be able to do something. I want to get Mighty Blow on the Hobgob, don't I really? Would have been nice him his guy staying out, wouldn't it? If it was eight versus nine, it wouldn't even be that bad, really. But he's got his one guard left. Got to hit the uh, the um, the unprotected guy, I think. God, this is pathetic. Right, that's good. Sidestep with the ball is both good and bad, isn't it? Oh, baby. Oh. Hit defenseless guy with mighty blow. Achieve precisely nothing. Yeah, the sidestep's good and bad, isn't it? It means he can sideline cage but then and not be surfed. But then he can't do the crazy bullshit play. I think it's better to go for the handoff, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine. So he can't get hit anyway. So I'll do the handoff at the end. How can he be hit? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, That's okay. Do these blocks? Nothing more important to uh, hand off the ball, isn't it? I think yeah, I've got a, I've got a block because now the ball's protected, isn't it, by them? I can accept this both down. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I should use the reroll and then use the reroll next turn. But I mean, I was going for a max three turn score, so. I can use the reroll next turn on the turn after. Yeah, no shit, Ducky. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> Ducky Holmes. <laughs> 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 oh, spine check. Going pretty horrible. Taken four cars in the first four turns, but somehow turned him over and scored because he was an idiot. Well, that's unfair to idiots. He played, <laughs> he played Blood Bowl very badly. <laughs> because you know, I've got a friend who's who's incredibly intelligent, but sucks at Blood Bowl. So it doesn't doesn't make him an idiot, does it? If he's not if he's not good at Blood Bowl. Could be a beginner. He is seven and zero. I think this team wasn't it. I think this team was seven and zero. Oh no, no, that was the other team. Some other team. Some team was seven and zero. One team. I think this is seven four two or something. So, yeah, that implied he wasn't the best coach. Um, seven four four is on the record. This team was, I think. Yeah, seven four four or something. Yeah, that's right. So somebody that I played at some point was seven and zero with this team once upon a time. Just got to fucking make the break, haven't I? That's the key thing: is finding the turn to make the break. Herp derp. It's up to is it the frogman? Frogman could make that a sound if he wanted. He's he's got a sound command. The herp derp is pretty good, isn't it? I do like that one. Base, base, base. This won't fail. I'm on the race. And then it doesn't fucking fail. I just use it on my fucking reroll. Jesus crap. Herp derp. Base, base. God, it really pisses me off though, man. Fucking nose. Just fucking basing everybody. He's got the claw as the safety, but he can't even reach the sideline. So. He could block. He could hand off. He could go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, GFI. And then he could blitz to t kind of do something. Or he could just keep hold of it. And go down the sideline. That's probably better, isn't it? Course can't get a knockdown. Now there's no breakthrough there either. Oh, I should have been there. So I guess Blitz there now then. Right. <laughs> if 
think GFIs is in scoring range, isn't he? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, GFI, GFI. And then he can go in front. And then he can go behind. And just fucking hope. Oh, better to dodge than GFI, isn't it? Because I know there's the built in reroll. Oh no, I need a GFI. No, I didn't need GFI getting range. Yeah, dodge. Dodge was good. It's going to be some 2 plus rolls this, isn't it, next turn? Holy shit. Glad I saved that reroll. Glad he chose not to block with Claw Mighty Blow as well. You've got to admire his tactics of keeping a uh, movement 4 player. Back as a safety and not a movement nine player. Interesting strategy, Cotton. The good thing is now it doesn't even matter if he fucking else screens or anything, does he? If I click on the end zone, it's some two pluses. And it might work. Guy hands. That's, that's what it's. Pure hands player fucking knocking out Saurus. Why not? Why not, eh? Why not just hit without block? Let's let's you GFI three times to do something. Yeah, this is a this is a strong little thing, isn't it? Oh, it's two GFIs, and he might get tackle on him. It still just rolls some two pluses with a reroll. It's possible. It's doable with some luck. And of course, if he GFIs with that, with that fucking, if he double ones the GFI or this GFI, it makes it that much harder for him, doesn't it? I can just actually stall it out because he's so fucking slow. And if he does an armor break here, I can just two dice blitz him as well. Yeah, PW turn, yeah. Come on, double one one of these. Come on. You can do it, I believe in you. Don't break armor. Fuck. Ah, but he, he's not on the sideline, is he? With a double, with a double down. So it's only dodging, not dodging through tackle. So that's good. There's absolutely zero dodging through tackle, at least. So the both down was pretty amazing there. He should have dodged the uh, warrior, shouldn't he? Right, again, I'd love to block with the mighty blow guy first. Especially in this one. This one would be an amazing block, but I've, I need the reroll for the GFI, don't I? Nothing to do but click the end zone. Or the in zone. Of course I can't. Of course I fucking can't, eh? Of course I fucking can't. I 
couldn't one dice. Oh my lord. I couldn't one dice. Unless you've got magic. Oh, him. Right. I mean, I thought about the one dice, but I just couldn't do it, could I? Because he was in the way. That's what I was thinking. I thought you were saying I could have one dice, then I would have been in one in nine. But I needed the dodges anyway to get the... Uh, thing. Wow, he double scored. Maybe I should have blocked first, but I really needed the reroll for the GFI. Yeah, the ball was a great scout, wasn't it? Maybe I should have gone here so it wouldn't go out. That's, I probably should have got, gone here, shouldn't I? Yeah, he might, he might, he might fail the, uh, he might, he might fail the pickup now, mate. He? he might not even go for it, but he's got to go for it. He's just gonna foul. Wow, if he fails the foul. It's um, it's not even a hard touchdown, is it? Two plus dodge, four plus pickup. Ballsy. Oh man. I think I would have gone for the for the pickup myself. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Even when he fails. Yeah, was it a GFI? Oh, there you go. Then. Got to ignore it. One in thirty-six to fail. But it protects me next turn if it doesn't. I guess I've lost anyway if I fail the pickup. So. Yeah, of course. That could never happen, could it? Of course, I can just fucking roll a four plus. Fucking. What a load of shit this game. Maybe I should have blocked him first. I knew this fucking game would go like this as well. I fucking knew it. It wasn't even claw, El Mato. It wasn't even claw. I think he's I think he's made one fucking claw armor break and everything else has been fucking hobgoblins and stuff. He's got a few mighty blow to be fair. But he's been incredibly lucky. I mean he has been incredibly lucky. I mean I've been this lucky in games, but <laughs> I feel that I would have probably won those games anyway. <laughs> Whereas this is the only thing that's given him a fucking chance. Is making four cars by turn four. And then me failing a failing a fucking one in 36 GFI. And then fucking failing a 50-50 pickup. That's the only thing that's given him a fucking shot at anything. That's the thing. That's the only reason he's in the fucking game. 
that's why it's kind of harder harder to take, isn't it? When that's the only fucking reason he has a fucking chance. fuck I can do here. What can I do? I guess he's got a reroll, so... Like, if I don't block him, I've got to block him. Yeah, he's got a GFI. Six GFIs. No, two GFIs. The two GFIs is all he needs. But that's all I needed, wasn't it? So, hey, upskirt there. Some love their upskirts, don't they? I bet the Amazons won't have any. He should go for the GFI now, because then if he fails, he can at least try to score with the bulk, shouldn't he? Shouldn't he? Couldn't he? Wasn't he? What? Blitzing when you could have blocked. Got to get the extra claw hits in. I don't even hate that, but it's a bit, bit crap in it. No cyberpunk legendaries out on uh, on September. In September, innit? this is just just champion ladder. The last, the pointless season of champion ladder with no prizes. Just playing for fun. If he gets sent off here, there's a chance of a one dice at the ball, isn't there? Good break. Yeah, I guess that's all there is. The stunting minus two push. You're quite right. That's all there is. I guess stand this guy up first, because why not? <laughs> Sums up the game, doesn't it? If I hadn't done that, he would have turned over first action. Nah, nah, because I made the dodges and that. Still got to make a GFI, hasn't he? He should have done it last turn, so if he failed, he had the bull. But obviously, you can't expect him to make a, a right play, can you? Not when there's two Saurus on the pitch. Just got to hope he rolls a one here. That's it. Got to irre irrelevantly place you both sent off first. Yep. 
Yep, Soros Dodge, 6 plus in it for a 1 dice at the moment. Now it's not so good. Of course, you gotta foul me, haven't you? Gotta get the fouls in for no reason. This minus two really looks a bit shit though, doesn't it? Because can't push him back. No, I push him sideways. I hope you I hope you roll a one and your hobgoblin dies. I always think it's funny when people say best of luck. Enjoy your win. What a cunt. What a fucking fuck. Not even snake eyes, just a one. I rolled the snake eyes. He didn't even have a reroll. Alright, mark him after the blitz. Nah. I don't know I don't know guy to get my guy to get three dice. It wouldn't even be two dice. Well maybe from him it would have been. What a what a shit match, eh? What a fucking shit match. I wanna keep the money in case of uh case of buying wizards like that game, isn't it? Seventeen A V breaks. Stupid. Absolutely stupid. Absolutely fucking stupid. No crocs for the next match. The skink journeyman army continues. Thank God he has sidestep now. I could have done, but I explained it. I want the money to buy wizards if I'm down TV. Or journeyman. Well, not journeyman. Mercenary crocs. You know. It's just, it wasn't even choice, was it? It was just outrageous dice. I mean, it was down TV, a little bit of TV, not much. 20 TV, it was only down 20 TV. But it was just, uh, it was just outrageous dice more than anything. If I had won the coin toss and made two cas on my first turn, it would have been a silly game, wouldn't it? Completely pointless. But um, still, it was a double one. Otherwise, I would have scored and been 2 0 up and just won, wasn't it? So. So there you go, you can't win them all, and that game proves it. <laughs> so thanks for watching, if you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.